So in the end, it was Anthony Gordon with the all-important goal to hand Newcastle United all the three points. Kieran Trippier hitting uh, the bar to point with the sumptuous free kick. In the end, he supplied the assist for the goal. Coach Christopher Nimley will take us to the touch screen and show us exactly uh, where United uh, fell short in the build-up to that goal. Coach, um, just take us away as far as this particular sequence is concerned. Where is the fault and who is at fault for this particular goal? Yes, okay, so before I actually um, wrote the uh, screen for the mm -hmm. clip to flow, mm -hmm. what I really wanted to point out is the fact that in this game, mm -hmm. United needed to match the physicality of Newcastle because okay. eventually the goal came as a result of a mismatch. Mm. We did the game on radio and I was so much emphatic that, yeah. yes, Gainacho is young, he's enterprising, mm -hmm. he's looking really good. But mm -hmm. against Kevin Trippier, all day, mm -hmm. all day, Kevin Trippier simply showed yeah. proper experience. Mm -hmm. In the physical battle, the young man, Gainacho, was no match. Mm. Before, again, I highlight, when I start playing this thing, you realize that Luke Shaw, with all his experience, should have known better. Mm -hmm. He should have seen the, that that guy, Nacho Pass, was not there to be made. Mm. It was a false pass when the young man was not in the better position to receive the ball. Yeah. So, per the pressing of Newcastle, which the clip mm. again is going to show, Luke Shaw should have gone long. So, let's watch this. So, as the game play, okay, mm -hmm. this was the play but mm -hmm. before let's see through this mm -hmm. and then when the replay start going then i'll point it out to you better so now let, let's pause it here let it go mm -hmm. again it will come I think they'll repeat it again okay it is not that clear here so let me just yeah, bring, bring it, it back, back a little bit, bit. Mm -hmm. and then yes i think i'll have to pause it here now no let yeah, go. you can play from there and then yes this is where i want to pause it good now this is where it matters most. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I pick my highlighter here and I highlight the movement of the... I highlight... One minute. One minute. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, there you go. Right. That. Good. Look at the shape of the Manchester United defenders. Look at that. That is mm -hmm. Dalu. This is Maguire. This is Luke Shaw. Mm -hmm. He eventually had the ball. So he gave a wrong pass to Guy Nacho. Mm -hmm. Now look at the shape. One Bissaka, as we speak, was completely not in focus. At this stage, mm -hmm. you couldn't see one Bissaka. You couldn't see Gordon, who eventually planted the ball in the back of them. You couldn't see any of them. Mm -hmm. So when you roll this again, Newcastle, very smart. There is one Bissaka. Look at one Bissaka. Clearly, he didn't know the whereabout of Gordon. Mm. Gordon had lost him he before lost him. he came into the picture. You, see, you don't fault him. Because of the bad shape of the Manchester United back line, mm -hmm. you cannot fault Wan Bissaka. But once the ball went wide, mm -hmm. that was where now he was anticipating. Where is Gordon? Where is Gordon? But Gordon too was very smart. Yeah. He came from the blind side of Wan Bissaka. He didn't present himself to Wan Bissaka. Mm -hmm. He came from Wan Bissaka left hand side. That mm -hmm. completely meant that mm -hmm. Wan Bissaka thinking that he would be coming from this end, he was at his back. back. That is what you need to do if mm. you are a center forward. You should not just present yourself to the defenders to be dealt with. Yeah. Let's see this to the end. It will be repeated. A fantastic finish. There you go. Wan Bissaka, he, he kept his eye on the ball. You can't fault him. Mm -hmm. Because, again, tactically, if I'm the one analyzing this, it is Luke Shaw that I'll be blaming. Yeah. Because the main sequence started from the giveaway. Hmm. Newcastle were so spot on yeah. in their press. Let's just play it for the last time, then we mm -hmm. go back. There you go. Garnacho losing the ball. Isaac picks it up. Draws the attention of everybody. Look at Wan-Bissaka. By the time he realized, Gordon was gone. And in the game of football, this is perfect. You see, this is where I highlighted the bad defensive shape mm -hmm. of the Manchester United. Look at the space here. Too huge a space. Too huge. And at, at this point, even hold on. That's at, right. At this point, you have two Newcastle players who can basically even run, run into space. Run yep. You see, what Newcastle actually did, they were going man to man yeah. whenever Man United had the ball. Unlike United, they were mm -hmm. going space to man. Mm -hmm. Anytime Newcastle had the ball and they needed to build from the back, yeah. United gave them space. But when the ball went to Andre Onana and my United needed to build from the back, mm -hmm. the Newcastle team ensured that, look, there was no space for any my United players to maneuver about. Yeah. Look at how bad the shape is. 
in sixes and sevens. So if you are a ten hack, you should be worried. Again, one thing, another thing that they highlight here is not showing is the lack of options. Let me just pause it because everything mm -hmm. in it is the lack of option mm -hmm. given to Luke Shaw mm -hmm. when he had the ball. Mm -hmm. Luke Shaw, when he received the ball to Onana, yep. got pressed. Kobe Menu, look, he's a fantastic young chap. Yeah. He's going to come good. But physically, he was not up for it. Once they block the options of Luke Shaw going to Kobe Menu, mm -hmm. Scott McTominay, we've always highlighted his lack of tactical discipline. He's never been disciplined tactically. He mm. never sets to receive the ball in transit. Yep. He rather thinks that once the ball gets to you, he's on the move, kick the ball to wherever he is. Yeah. Again, Ten Hag on the day yesterday, yeah. I said it, and I'm going to repeat here, I think it was a game meant for the Moroccan international. If Amabat had started this mm -hmm. game, United tactically would have moved forward with the transition and the burden from the back in a much more better way. Mm. So that is all that we need to say about the goal. Again, Gordon, free flow, simple tap in, and, man, and Newcastle won it up. Perfect goal Fantastic. from a team. Fantastic. That's Thank right. you very much, Coach. Uh, I think you can probably take your seat now. Let, let me see if I can get some more thoughts from a few uh, of my people. Yeah, just quick yeah. thoughts on Manchester United. There no Anthony starts in that game. Eventually, yeah. they lost. But Newcastle United, I don't know if anything caught your eye about what they did. I think that Newcastle are a genuine threat because they beat they beating a couple of big opponents. Now Chelsea, they have added Arsenal. yep. Now they have added Manchester United to that casualty list. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are a, a proper legit threat because if you beat Arsenal, you beat Chelsea, and now you've added Man United to your gauntlet list. Then definitely you are a, a threat um, for this time around. Not a top four finish, mm -hmm. but an improvement on what they achieved last year, which was a top four finish. So this time around. Mm -hmm. You should look at Newcastle and be concerned if you are a Liverpool mm -hmm. or if you are an Arsenal mm -hmm. um, that's battling for that second spot, supposedly behind Manchester City, because I still see them as favourite to win the title, despite mm. the fact that they aren't playing um, to their maximum level. But for Newcastle, I think it's, it's just down to the athleticism, the commitment, and the ability to just keep on running mm -hmm. and running, mm -hmm. providing options defensively and offensively. Because... Yeah. If you, if you are Man United and you consistently see Man United lose track of their men, the, the, man, the people that they've been taxed individually mm -hmm. to man mark, they are losing them consistently. When there is um, there's a, an attack, they are building an attack, you do not see Man United players consistently running off the ball to provide options for the, the ball carrier. So you find out that the ball carrier has to do so much. Mm -hmm. Either he has to outpace the opponent or try some magic trick. Mm. That's one of the reasons why you have uh, Marcus Rashford consistently hanging on to the ball for way too long a time. And for the most part, he ends up losing it because there aren't too many options for him to give it to. And mm. so for me, that's, that's what is really, really hurting my United. And the fullbacks, how many times have we not seen my United fullbacks consistently sleep on the job? Uh, in the Europa League um, against uh, Sevilla, mm -hmm. we saw Luke Shaw concede a goal from a similar situation. Um, Copenhagen, just this season in the Champions League, we saw Diego Dalo do the same thing. And yes, yesterday, we saw Aaron Wan-Bissaka do the same thing. So, honestly, the, the fullback needs to, need to do a proper job or a better job mm -hmm. when it comes to concentrating and trying to mark the runs of the, 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 the men that they've been uh, charged to to, to police or to, to be able to play against. And honestly, that's, that's, that's not a good thing for my United. And overall, the commitment, the commitment is a big issue. You can be quality, you, mm -hmm. can, be the be you can have the best of talent, but if you are not committed, football is a, is, a, is a physical sport. You have to run. If you don't run, how are you going to get the ball? If you don't run, how are you going to progress the ball? And Paul Scholes rightly um, summed up their performance of my United. And he branded it as a lazy performance. And yeah. it was true. It was a very lazy performance. Marcus Rashford had a bad game uh -huh. and had a bad body language simply because all he had to do all day was track the runs of Liveramento. And on top of that, he, had, he wanted to be on the opposite side and be that inverted winger, uh -huh. that spot where Ganacho was. Uh -huh. And 
it all played into that bad I know, performance. I, I, I noticed that he was sulking the whole game. It was actually almost as if he was unhappy with the position he exactly. was being asked to play. And at this he point was walking, time, he was jogging. At his performance, at this would you play him that. ahead of Garnacho in that position? No. So it comes down to the manager. Mm -hmm. Bench him. Play Anthony. Mm -hmm. Play Garnacho. Well, that's what Eric Ten Hag has to do. Big decisions in front of him. Let's